Hello, and thanks for tuning in. I'm John from Carsonic.com and LinuxSlate.com. At LinuxSlate.com, one of the things we like to play with is radiation detectors, also known as dosimeters or Geiger counters. And today we have a particularly interesting dosimeter, the Polymaster PM1208M. Before we get into the introduction of this device, I want to mention that I have comprehensive reviews and unboxing videos of several other of these artifacts of the Soviet or Chernobyl era, as well as several current products. Please look at the description section of this video for links to the reviews and unboxing videos. The best way to stay in the loop of all of my reviews is to hit the subscribe button. To more fully explore this interesting artifact, I'm going to split this video into two parts. In this first part, we'll present an overview of the Polymaster PM1208M. And then I want to show you some other really cool devices available for anyone who wants to strap a dosimeter to their wrist. In the second video, we'll see the actual operation of the PM1208M as a Geiger counter and as a dosimeter. I'll also cover connecting it to a computer and I'll answer the question, does it work with Linux? To explain the Polymaster PM1208M, it's best to explain it as four separate things. And most obviously, the PM1208M is a watch. And a watch is a piece of jewelry. From a distance, the PM1208M looks like any other quartz watch with digital complications. A version with a leather band is also available. The PM1208M is one of the thickest watches that's ever been made at almost 19 millimeters thick, basically 19 millimeters thick, it's almost comical, but there's a reason for its thickness and I'll get into that uh, a little bit later in the video. It's also quite heavy. At 178 grams, it's much heavier than most stainless steel men's watches, but not out of the ballpark. If you've worn other stainless steel watches with quality stainless steel bands, living with this watch isn't much difference. I should also mention that like similar watches, this watch is waterproof to 100 meters, or that's about 300 feet. As you can see from my very clearly used example, the crystal is plain glass. It is not uh, sapphire. The size and appearance actually have another advantage. People are much more likely to mistake it for a premium vintage dive watch than a cheap Casio or a common modern watch. If the Polymaster PM 1208M is not attention getting enough for you, then you definitely want to keep watching this video. Later on, I'll show you some of the most unique and rare watch watches ever made. So it's a watch, it's a piece of jewelry. The, it also contains a quartz watch movement. And this is an actual uh, Swiss made quality movement um, that allegedly, I haven't really uh, tested it, but um, re other reviews and information um, show that it's 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 pretty good at timekeeping. So that's the uh, analog hands portion of the watch. Below that is what appears to be conventional digital complications. In other words, features like date, alarm, etc. And in fact, the third aspect of this device is a fairly conventional LCD digital watch. It has a single time zone and the time is set to 24 hour format and that cannot be changed. But of course the analog portion is in a 12 hour format. You can also set them to two different time zones, um, but there is no other time zone functionality. It also has the basic other features um, you would expect. Um, I can display seconds. Uh, it has a basic daily alarm. Um, and it has a uh, calendar built in, but you cannot, it just shows you the number of the day and the number of the month. Uh, there's no attempt to display alphanumerics or anything like that. Also, um, it does have a backlight. It's a, a vintage watch from the 80s or 90s. And as many of those watches did, it has that familiar blue electroluminescent uh, backlight. Another characteristic to the displays are somewhat bluish tint to the numbers. And in certain lighting conditions, um, you can see that on this watch. No means does that mean that the contrast is poor, 
or anything. Also, you can see that the background is not quite as white as it would be on some more modern LCD watches. I should also mention one other important thing is, is that um, the entire device, dosimeter and everything else, run for up to a year on a single 2032 lithium battery. In terms of a Geiger counter dosimeter, however, having a waterproof backlit digital dosimeter in less than two square inches is pretty incredible, even 30 years after this device was uh, designed. So we finally get to the whole point of the PM1208M and why it's so thick. You see, it contains an actual Geiger Molyer, Molyer tube or Geiger tube. A Geiger tube can be sensitive to alpha, beta, and gamma particles. But in this case, the tube is completely encased in a stainless steel and, and glass watch. This effectively blocks alpha and beta particles, and that's why they use the term gamma detector. In addition to being well shielded, the Geiger tube is also very small. So the very small tube does not make the watch inaccurate, but it does, however, make the watch very slow to detect changes in the radiation environment. I'll demonstrate this in the second video. In my other reviews, I mentioned that some di devices called dosimeters don't actually measure accumulated dose. Well, with the Polymaster watch, no such caveats are needed. It's actually a true dosimeter, and we'll demonstrate that in the, in the second video. Before we conclude part one of this video, I would like to show the viewer some other products. First, I'll mention a few other genuine Polymaster products. The M suffix of the PM1208M means metal, and there is a less expensive PM1208 with a more basic case. It also seems to lack the PC connection functionality of this watch. Neither the PM1208M or the PM1208, the simpler version, are currently being made by Polymaster. The eBay vendor that sold me my genuine Palimaster also has several new PM1208s, the other version, available as of the production of the video. As you may have guessed, links to this recommended seller can be found in the description. Newer all-digital wrist dosimeter, called the PM1603B, is still sold by Polymaster, or was sold by Polymaster at least up until uh, very recently, and retains the PC, PC connection. It also has basic digital watch functionality. Now, in addition to this watch, um, I have found a number of what appear to be clones. Um, if you search around some of the Chinese vendors, you'll see something that looks very similar and is typically called the Gamma Master II calibrated by Polymaster. They appear to be made in China, possibly with the actual Polymaster tooling. And by the way, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing Polymaster correctly. Um, I don't know the correct pronunciation. On the ones made in China, the name Polymaster is absent, and so is the designation PM1208. It simply says Gamma Master. Whether they actually send each one to Polymaster in Belarus for calibration or not, I can't verify. The upside of those is you get an updated version of this watch for about half the price of the original, about $300 depending on, meather, on, on whether you want the metal or leather band. Also, beware of eBay sellers trying to sell the Chinese versions at a much higher price. I have no idea, I, I have no reason to believe that there is anything wrong with the Chinese made product. My goal here is only to help the buyer distinguish the genuine Polymaster made ones from the later ones that are made in China. Fortunately, for most of us not living in southern Belarus, northern Ukraine, or Fukushima, there isn't much demand for a wear everyday radiation dosimeter. However, something totally different has driven demand for wrist-worn radiation meters. Video games. No, I'm not going to go on about video games being dangerous, and they certainly don't cause radiation, at least not ionizing radiation. But several post-apocalyptic games feature cool-looking wrist-worn radiation monitors, and there are those with the interest and means to want to live out their video game in the real world. Even for niche products, if there's a demand at all, there will be enterprising folks that fit the need. 
There are a couple Etsy and eBay sellers that make handmade watches inspired by video games such as Metro 2033 or Fallout. The work that they do could equally be applied to fans of the Stalker games or just steampunk art in general. Many of these products include fully functional Geiger counters and dosimeters. The products are individually made, so each one has a unique look and unique functionality. Lastly, I must mention the MTM Special Ops Rad Watch. This watch has similar features to the Polymaster, including a suspiciously similar display layout. It looks to me like Polymaster is either licensing their design or they have serious problems retaining control of their intellectual property. The appearance of the MTM Special Apps Rad Watch is much more modern and elegant than the Polymaster offerings. And with a price tag of around $2,000, depending on the case and band, it had better look good. Also, check the description for a link, and if you buy one, please let them know you learned about it here on carcinic.com, linuxslate.com. And if MTM would like to send me one, my camcorder is ready. In part two of this video, we're going to look a little more in depth at the Geiger counter and dosimeter functions of the PM1208M and see how it reacts to a radioactive sample. Please remember to check the links in the description and subscribe to the Car Cynic YouTube channel to be alerted when part two is posted. Until then, happy rad hunting.